Good morning, hot dogs. Tag tutoring backpack buddies, and there's more news after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Indian and Latino Education Summit is hosting their college and career fair in Indianapolis on September 9th. If you are a senior student and you would like to attend, please sign up in the Google form in the chatter. If you have not already done so, permission slips will be handed out on Wednesday and are due back by Monday, August 22nd. Attention juniors and seniors, Clinton County is hosting their annual college and career fair at Clinton Central High School on September 21st. All juniors and seniors are invited to attend the event from 9 to 11 a.m. Transportation will be provided from FHS to Clinton Central. In order to attend, you must fill out and return the permission slip by August 31st. The permission slips will be handed out during your English classes over the next couple of days. You can return your permission slips to student services or to your English teacher. Tag tutoring and clubs will start next week on Monday, August 22nd. Please look over the list of clubs we are currently offering and sign up if you are interested in attending any of the clubs at some point this year. Even if you participated in the clubs last year, please sign up again this year. This is DECA's 12th year planning and implementing the DECA Backpack Buddies Community Service Project. Frankfurt DECA has committed to feeding 125 Frankfurt elementary, middle school, and high school students. In order to feed 125 students for 33 weeks, Frankfurt DECA needs to raise around $13,000 to purchase non-perishable, easy-to-make snacks. Since August 2011, DECA Backpack Buddies has raised $139,000 45,000 weekend backpack buddies have been distributed to 1,418 unique Frankfurt students. The success of the community service project is a result of the individual churches, grants, businesses who donated resources each year. DECA would like to extend a special thank you to the 2023 DECA backpack donators, Harold and Susan Davis, Jeff and Debbie Bracken, and the first Evangelical Presbyterian Church Hand. Now to sports and weather. The volleyball team opened their season with a loss against county rival Rossville on Tuesday evening. Despite the loud crowd support in the lead in game two, the girls could not find the right combo for success. Leading in kills and digs was Macy Starrett with six kills and 20 digs. Jalen Smith faced a tough night defensively and picked up nine digs, and Ashley Zhang started her season with 10 digs. The JV came out competitive but fell 0 to 2. Ella McAtee and Addie Keck both had two kills, and Tiffany Zhang had six digs for the team. Both teams served well and looked to keep pushing improvements as they faced conference opponent Southmont in Case Arena on Thursday at 6 o'clock. We would like to thank the student crowd who came out loud and fierce for us last night. We hope to see you again on Thursday, with the theme being white. The game will be broadcasted again right here on the Hot Dog Network in partnership with the ISC Sports Network. Last night, the girls' soccer team played at Logansport. The Lady Dogs came out aggressive and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Berries, but ultimately gave up a goal on a tough shot 16 minutes into the first half. The Lady Dogs had some chances to equalize, but couldn't find the back of the net and went into halftime down 1-0. The second half didn't start off well for the Hot Dogs, giving up two pretty quick goals to go down by a score of 3-0. However, the team's experience showed itself when they got two goals back within five minutes of each other. The first goal was made by Abby Marquez, and the second one was made by Emily Mora. The comeback attempted fizz fizzled out when the tough the Lady Dogs had few chances to equalize, but drifted away when the Berries managed to score two late goals to give them a three-goal lead late. The Hot Dogs dropped the season opener by a score of five to two. Girls soccer plays tomorrow at Sheridan, starting at 5:30. Last night, the boys soccer team played Logansport. Logansport was ahead in the first half, one to zero. Frankfurt battled back in the second half and ended up winning two to one in a comeback victory. Game winner scored off of a free kick by Gail Hernandez. Great team effort for a game, home game opener. They play tomorrow at Western Boone starting at 5.30. Today the boys tennis has a match at Fountain Central starting at 5. They also have a match tomorrow here at home against Danville starting at 5.30. Cross Country has their only home meet tomorrow at 5.30, so make sure you come out and support the team. Lastly, boys basketball call out will be this Friday in the cafeteria during community. If you're interested in playing, please check in with your community teacher, then head down to the cafeteria. That's all for sports. Now to weather with Pedro. 
Good morning, dogs. This morning it was another chilly 59 degrees. The high today will be 80 degrees and the low will be 54 degrees, getting colder. The precipitation will only be 3% and it should be a sunny day today. That will be it for weather. Now back to your host. Happy birthdays go out to Timothy Dale, Nicholas Mendoza, Mason Montgomery, Justine Thomas, and Blade Varner. And lunch for today is chicken smackers with bread, line three, and four, Big Daddy Pizza. You are now able to reserve your copy of the yearbook for only $30. There are order forms available outside the bookstore. Reserve yours now for the lowest price. The special ends on September 2nd. And don't forget, picture day is August 25th. That's all for the announcements today. Make sure to go like and subscribe and tune in for more.